Watch as this fish moves. Notice its armored body, its forked tail, its whisker-like barbels. This is a pallid sturgeon, and what you're noticing are the many adaptations that this prehistoric fish species has that has helped it survive for millions of years. In this video, we'll dive into what makes this fish so special by learning more about its amazing adaptations. So what are adaptations? Adaptations are physical structures or behaviors inherited by their parents that help plants and animals survive in their habitat. Adaptations can be physical or something an animal has on its body to help it survive, like a fish's fins help it swim. They can also be behavioral or something an animal does to help it survive, like how a fish might detect a predator and swim away. Adaptations help plants and animals do many different things in order to survive, such as move, eat, regulate their temperature, avoid predators, or have offspring. Let's look again at that armored body. Look closer at the skin. Do you notice scales? Although they don't look like typical fish scales you might see on a bass or a bluegill, sturgeon have special scales called ganoid scales. These scales are smooth and hard and are covered in a protective layer of dentine, similar to the enamel that's found on our teeth. Ganoid scales are thick and fit together like a puzzle, making them nearly impenetrable and offer excellent protection against predators. Sturgeon have small eyes and fairly poor vision, so instead of looking for food, they use barbels to find their food. The whisker-like barbels found on the bottom of their face are a special sensory organ, and they have chemoreceptors similar to our taste buds on our tongue. The chemoreceptors found on those barbels help sturgeon find their prey living in the river bottoms. This prey includes snails, clams, mussels, crayfish, insect larvae, and even fish eggs. Once they find their prey, a sturgeon's suction-like mouth located at the bottom of its face helps them easily eat their invertebrate diet found on the bottom of rivers. The pallet sturgeon has many incredible adaptations to help it survive in its river habitat. From their streamlined shape to their armored body and their barbels, these fish are built to thrive in swift flowing waters such as the Missouri River system. Remember, next time you're outside, take time to observe the plants and animals all around you, from bugs to birds to flowers and trees. What adaptations do you notice? And how do you think those adaptations help those plants and animals survive.